Hello, this is Steve for Moy Marine. In this product overview, we'll be taking a look at our Oil Pressure Safety Switch Kit, OPSS for short. Its purpose, function, installation, and testing. In terms of its original purpose, the U.S. Coast Guard was concerned that someone would inadvertently let their ignition switch in the on position while the engine was not running, particularly during times when the boat was unattended. In those cases, without an OPSS, there was a risk of an electric fuel pump pumping raw fuel into the bilge in the event there was a leak within the fuel system. The Coast Guard had been requiring an OPSS in electric fuel pump circuits from the time that Universal started installing electric fuel pumps on all new Atomic 4s. Engines with the mechanical fuel pump will obviously have no need for an OPSS. The OPSS is a spring-loaded switch designed to function as a normally open switch, which closes when oil pressure raises above approximately 4 psi. During starting, starter cranking RPM will provide 4 psi oil pressure within seconds to close the switch and supply power to the fuel pump. If your oil pressure drops below this threshold, the switch will open, preventing your electronic fuel pump from operating. The OPSS serves a secondary function of protecting the engine in the event oil pressure drops below 4 psi during normal engine operation. The OPSS won't protect the engine in the case of low oil pressure, just above 4 psi, so the oil pressure gauge is still your primary reference for safe engine operation in terms of oil pressure. The most common place to install the OPSS is in the 8th inch NPT oil pressure port, just to the right of the pump itself. Power normally will come from the positive terminal of the coil to one side of the OPSS and from the other terminal to the pump itself. It doesn't matter which side of the switch you use as the incoming and outgoing terminals. Our OPSS kit includes the brass fittings needed to keep the switch vertical. Vertical orientation is more resistant to water damage on the connections and corroding the terminals on the switch. The kit also includes the electrical disconnects needed, including a set of male-female quick disconnects to use during troubleshooting. Note. Be sure to install the blue male disconnect on the wire leading to the pump, which makes it easy to connect a jumper cable during troubleshooting activities. Facet recommends a 5 amp fuse between the positive terminal of the coil and the OPSS. Bench testing your OPSS with a meter is not practical. However, a simple way to operationally test your installed OPSS is to turn the ignition key to the IGN position without starting the motor. The fuel pump should not be operating or should be quiet at this point. If you hear your electric fuel pump running or clicking in the case of the facet pumps, this is an indication that your OPSS has failed and is stuck in the closed position and should be replaced. If the pump is quiet, however, in other words, not operating, Try to start your engine. If the engine starts, the OPSS must be closed, which is to say it's working normally. In a troubleshooting scenario, if your engine fails to start and you suspect your OPSS, first check for a good fuse. Then run a jumper wire from the big battery terminal on the starter solenoid directly to your electric fuel pump using the male quick disconnect between the OPSS and the pump essentially bypassing the OPSS. If the engine now starts, you have isolated the OPSS as the problem and it should be replaced. Thank you for your time. You can find Atomic 4 parts and support at moymarine.com.